What's up traders, Alex here and I've been getting a lot of questions about my day trading setup so I thought it was finally time that I make a video breaking down everything that it includes. In this video I'll be going over my computer specs, the computer, the chair, the desk, the setup, the monitors and everything else you need to know. As usual if you enjoyed this video like and subscribe and if you have any question about the tools that I'm currently using everything will be linked down in the description and that includes my broker and also my stock scanner. So last year I built this really cool day trading setup. It was almost perfect. I really liked it but then I moved and during the move I pulled on a wire thinking it was an HDMI but it was a display port and I really messed up the graphic card. I wasn't able to get it fixed because it was the beginning of COVID. So I ended up getting a completely new setup and is the one we're going to be talking about today. So the first thing we'll be going over is my computer. I'm currently running a 2020 MacBook Pro with 16 gig of RAM, 1.4 gigahertz quad core i5 processor and an Intel Iris Plus graphic card and 256 gigabyte of SSD hard drive. So I bought this Mac as a temporary solution. I needed to actually get two new computers because my laptop laptop was also getting old so I decided to get the laptop first and eventually built a new custom desktop. When it comes to performances I'm really really happy with it. Of course I'm running Windows in this Mac because all my trading platforms are on Windows so I'm still happy with it. It's very stable. It's annoying at time to having to jump from the Mac session to the Windows if ever I'm doing anything else but overall for a day trading station or day trading laptop it's definitely a good choice but you should also consider the price that it comes. It's an Apple product so it's not cheap for what you're getting. You could be getting a Dell or something like that for a lot cheaper that probably has better performances. So now the price for this laptop was around $2,300 Canadian so about $1,750 US. So if you're an American it's definitely not expensive for if you're Canadian it's a little more on the pricey side but as I said if ever you're looking for a laptop get a Dell or get some gaming laptops you're gonna get better performances for probably less expensive. So now we'll be jumping to the most important part of this setup and I'm not talking about the monitor, the desk or the stands. I'm talking about this little docking station. So this little docking station is called a CalDigit TS3. So this little thing here is pretty much what runs everything. So I just connect my MacBook to it and it just powers up my two monitors that I currently have. I also have all the USB ports as I mentioned. So it's really easy for me to just take my laptop, plug it to one docking station and it also charges my Mac. So this little docking station is definitely not cheap. It's around $300 Canadian, so around 250 US. SD. It works really well and it's also really good quality. So I didn't want to cheap out on something like this because if you get a cheap one and it doesn't work well, then your monitors are always going to be messed up and your, your laptop or your MacBook won't be charging. So it's going to be a, even more complicated than getting another one, wasting your time than just getting the quality one and not having to talk about it after. So now let's talk about these two bad boys. These are 27 inch Asus Pro Art factory color calibrated with 2K resolutions. These monitors are honestly amazing like the color quality as I mentioned they're color calibrated from factory so you get a little coupon saying that they have been color calibrated but they also have a matte finish so they're not hard on your eyes. Whenever you're getting monitors sometimes they're glossy finish and it really bothers with reflection and stuff like that. These ones are matte so no reflection with them. So before getting these one I tried four different monitors. Some of them were ultra wide, some of them were 32 inch 4K and I ended up with going with these one just because they were so sharp and also the quality of image was really really good. I like also all the platform set up on these monitors so they weren't too wide or anything like that. So when it came to the cost of these monitors they're definitely not cheap. They're around $450 Canadian each so if you calculate two of them that's $900 which is probably around 750 US for two 27 inch monitors. So it's not cheap but it's definitely good quality product so I'm really really happy with them. So for the desk I still have the IKEA Cosby countertop with the prime cable dual motor legs. Together it costed about $600 Canadian so US you're looking at something like 450. I really like this desk the only thing is it's not deep enough so your monitors are pretty close to your face but I got a new chair to help me out with that and we'll be talking about that very shortly. So I got this chair the brand is called Mustache they're pretty popular here in Canada I don't know about the US but some of them are available on Amazon. Honestly I'm really happy with the chair the only thing it makes a lot of noise so some clanky noise with all the metal that it has. 
in terms of quality built it's good it's just a little noisy but overall very very comfortable and it's been helping me a lot with my neck because when you're sitting at a desk for a long time sometimes not having any support on your neck can really drain you or create some neck pain or some back pain so having the headrest on this chair is definitely something that have been helping me and I really, really enjoyed this chair. The only thing is the noise really bothers me. So I don't know if I'm going to keep it. So for this chair, I paid around $340 Canadian. It was on sale. I think it retail for around 400. It's comfortable. As I mentioned, it's like clunky. So I don't know if I'm going to keep it, but for now it does the job and I'd still prefer it to my previous chair, which was a cheap Ikea chair. So now when it comes to accessories, I have the Logitech MX keys. This keyboard is honestly amazing. It looks good, but it also feels good. And it connects to Mac and PC. So if you're looking for a keyboard, definitely look at this one. I really recommend it if you're a Mac user or a PC user. So when it comes to the mouse, I have the Logitech MX Master. This one is like five or six years old. I had it for a long time. Um, I really like it and it still works perfectly fine. So I'm really, really happy with it. I think I paid around 140 dollars back then but you can get the new one for around a 110 120 canadian so it's definitely something to look up if you're looking for a good mouse that won't give you too much forearm issue so when it comes to the price of this mouse and keyboard we're looking at around 250 together it's pretty pricey for just a mouse and keyboard but it's definitely good quality once again i also forgot to mention that these monitors are set up on some really cheap stand they're called nord value if you look at amazon they're like i think 25 to 30 dollars each i really just took the cheapest one because i just gave the exact one i had before to someone else thinking i won't be using them but i ended up having to use them and couldn't get them back so i ended up getting some new nord bayou i don't use this brand i don't know if it's good quality but it works perfectly fine and it was pretty easy to set up so altogether this setup is around four thousand six hundred dollar canadian so you're looking around 36 37 hundred dollar usd it's not on the cheap side but you can definitely make it cheaper so if ever you're looking to build your own trade station I think there's a way to make it a lot cheaper than getting all these. These are all premium product. There's nothing cheap over here, but you can still get sometimes better quality price product if you shop more than me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As usual, if you enjoy, like and subscribe. If you have any question about the tools that I'm using, everything will be linked down in the description. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.